Welcome. I hope that you're doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add, delete, and change music notes in the notation software MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So I have MuseScore open, and we're going to go through the note input lesson. And what I did was I inserted some notes at measure 18 on the bottom here in the treble clef. And we're going to go through this together with how to uh, put these notes um, up here um, one at a time. Uh, when you are putting in notes, there are several ways you can do it. Uh, you can either click on the notes one at a time. You could use shortcuts or you can use the um, piano keyboard uh, that's within the software. So let's start with uh, the point and click uh, method, which is just one note at a time. And so you might notice that uh, that um, the, it's a little small to, to click into. So uh, one uh, thing you might want to do to start off is to increase the size uh, of the page. So zoom in, basically. So uh, right now, 100%. Let's go ahead and zoom in to 150%. And then if you need to move this around, you would just click and then drag around. So OK. So we're going to start at measure 18, and then we're going to put those notes up here at the beginning. Now, the first note is an eighth note on a D. So uh, we would click the eighth note there. And you'll notice if I click it and then try to insert the note, nothing happens, right? So, And that is because this icon is uh, highlighted. This is for the rests. So what we need to do is we need to, be put, uh, we need to go into note input mode. So that's this N here, OK? So now I, I click the N. And now you can see a note shows up. It's an eighth note. And I'll just find the D. And I'm going to insert the D. So there's a D. And then the next one is an E with an eighth note. So I can use the same eighth note. Now we need a quarter note. So all I'm going to do is go up here, click the quarter note, and then put that on an F. The next uh, notes are a chord. So the way you can do this is to click. And now you notice it went forward. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack the notes on top of that note. And uh, the next one is an A and then a D. So that is how you make a chord um, with the um, adding one note at a time um, and clicking. Uh, the, the next note here is a D sharp. So what we would do is we would just click sharp and then um, put the D sharp on the last beat of that measure. And then it keeps going. So we'll put in two more notes. And then I'm going to show you a different way. So we need to put the E and then the half note for a D. And again, you just select each one of those that you uh, want, each note value that you would want, and then click there. Now, the next one is a rest. So what we need to do is we need to click that rest again, or you can uh, click the N. If you click the N, that takes you out of uh, that mode. And, um, and you can click on the rest. So now. Oh, you see, this is perfect. So you can see it changed that note that I was working on. And that's because that was the note I had selected. So let's go back. And I need to click the N again. And now I've got the half note selected. And I'm going to put that half note back in there. Now, we need to uh, put the rest here. And so now we're going to go out of input mode and select there. And then select the rest. So now we've got a quarter rest there. And so what I did to put the rest, I just clicked on rest, and then I clicked on the the same uh, kind of um, value of rest. So that is a quarter rest, that is a quarter note. And so those are similar. Now, um, you can do this one at a time. Sometimes this is a rather quick way to do it. Um, other times it can take a while, especially with the rests and everything. So uh, let's learn a couple shortcuts. And I will put them on the screen here. So. Uh, the, you can see that uh, the different um, notes uh, uh, go with a different number. So let's go. The first shortcut I want to teach you is uh, how to go into note entry. And so let's say you'll click the, the quarter note. If you just click N, um, as in um, Nicholas, um, that will uh, make the note entry uh, turn on or off. So if I want to turn it back on, I'll push N again. And now we're back into note entry. And uh, let's say I want to move over to the next beat. So you can see it's got the D selected. I'm going to push the right arrow over. So now it's on to the next beat. So I pushed N for note mode. And then I pushed right 
um, arrow over to the next beat. And now the letters on the keyboard are also the um, letters of uh, the notes. So basically what I mean is if you um, put uh, push a D on the keyboard, a D will a D a note will show up on the score. So I'm going to push D. So there we have a D. Now the reason it showed up as a half note is because I had half note selected. But let's say I want to do this with um, just shortcuts. I'm going to push the left arrow back to the note we just did, and I am going to change that to a quarter note. And to do that, I'm going to push number four. So uh, four will change it to a, a oh sorry an eighth note. So a quarter note would be five. So push five for a quarter note, and um, I'm going to push D again. So now you can see it added a D quarter note, and that actually added another one. And let's say I want to change that D the next one to an E. Perfect. So um, that is uh, how you can uh, go from a um, different uh, value of a note. So again, uh, if you look at the, um, uh, the little keyboard shortcuts that I put on the screen, the, uh, you will notice that five is a quarter note. So six would be a uh, half note. So let's say I want to, uh, the next note, I want to do a half note on E. So I push six and then I push E and there we go. So again, by just using your uh, keyboard, you can actually put it, put in notes, um, you know, one at a time this way. Now, this is certainly one way to do it. And um, you can notice I kind of just went off a little bit there, but uh, from the one below. But what I'd like to point out is that there's another way you can put in notes and that is with the uh, piano keyboard. So let's uh, delete what I have uh, put in so far. So to delete or to go back, you can just push Control Z and that will go back. So now I just push Control Z to where that's a whole note again. And uh, so we've got a whole, uh, whole rest, I mean, and the whole rest is there. And so I want to make that look like this. Again, we need to add in a quarter rest, which we're going to push five. So we've got our quarter rest. And now let's use the uh, piano. So if you want to see the piano, uh, you just go up to view and then down to piano keyboard. And now you'll see a piano keyboard came um, across on the bottom. So if I want to input a note, I can uh, play the keyboard to input it. So I need to select which, uh, which uh, part of the score I want to put the note in. So I will select that. Now, the easiest way to select it is to make sure that node input is turned off. So I selected the rest. And again, I need it to look like this. So I need an A. So I'm going to push an A. Oh, now you'll notice it's not working, right? So the reason it's not working is because I need to turn note input back on. So again, you can click that or you can just push, push, push N. So I push N. Now no input's on. See, so we can do that. And I'm just going to uh, go ahead and... Uh, put an A in. So there's the A. I'm going to put in another A. And now this is going to go a lot faster because now I can just play. If you know how to play piano, you can go pretty quickly. So C, D sharp, E, E sharp, F, G. So now we have this looking the same as that, except we need a tie right here. So in order to add a tie, you can go up here and just click the tie button. It's also known as the plus. And then you just click on the note you want to tie and it will tie over. Oh, I had the wrong one selected. So let me go back. So I want to make sure I've got this note selected for the tie. So I selected it. I took a note input off and then I uh, go ahead and click tie. And then there it, had, it added the tie. So again, uh, these are the three main ways that you could put notes in to uh, uh, MuseScore. Now, uh, it can take a while to get used to. Uh, so I, I would say either, um, you know, start with the first way with clicking and pointing. And then uh, once you feel comfortable with that, add the shortcuts. Or if you want to uh, jump straight to the shortcuts, you can. Now, I'm a piano player. So usually the, the fastest way for me is to either use the keyboard down here or to have a MIDI keyboard hooked up um, to um, the computer. And I can input notes that way, too. 
You now know how to add, delete, and change music notes within the notation software MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments section below this video, and I'll do my best to answer them. If you would like to learn more about adding rests into your music, I have another video, uh, and I'll put that in the screen that you can click, or you could uh, check out my complete uh, beginner's guide uh, YouTube video, which I'll uh, put in the screen also. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, please like this video and subscribe to uh, this channel, Musician Startup. And I thank you, and I will see you in the next video.